How's it going today? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm Jessica. Hey, Jeff. Awesome. You here for the walking tours? I am. It's a neat way to explore the local history. You can walk around and see the village and it takes our, the history outside of the museum and into the actual settings where a lot of the stories we're talking about were made. If we're ready to go, then we can go and explore Whistler's history through the streets. Every day at 1 p.m., the Valley of Dreams tour leaves from the Whistler Visitor Center. From Olympic dreams to miners seeking out copper, people have been drawn to the Valley of Whistler for over a hundred years. The Whistler Museum Summer Walking Tours uncover the history that has made Whistler what it is today. It kind of encompasses the history of Whistler as a, as a whole. Uh, it went from really humble beginnings, this kind of backwoods valley full of loggers to now the, the largest ski resort in North America and uh, took a lot of vision, a lot of different dreamers kind of left their imprint on the valley. So here we are in Skiers Plaza, the base of Blackcomb and Whistler Mountains. Stopping at the base of Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains, it's hard to imagine the landscape without the lift access and a busy bike park. A lot has changed in the last 30 years. The original plan was to have lifts all over Whistler Mountain, so on the creek side as well as on the north base, but they couldn't do that because there was actual mining. Miners still had claims on the north slopes of Whistler Mountain. So here we are at Fitzsimmons Creek. Evidence of those mining claims can still be found, and maybe even the remnants of a cabin. And there is actually a trail going all the way up the Fitzsimmons Creek Valley, which is following what is today the Singing Pass Trail. Um, there was a trapper that had a cabin up near, near Singing Pass, and there were local miners that even hoped to find uh, the tail end of the Britannia Mines copper. So we're going to head back to the village now. Post-mining claims and pre-development of what is now the village, a garbage dump occupied the very pathways that our town follows. And it comes with stories of its own. So when this was still the dump, a popular activity was uh, on Sunday nights, people would grab a case of beer and come here after dinner because everyone would jump their garbage off and this would be teeming with bears and it was the best spot to find bears in the valley. They'd just be walking around having their Sunday night snacks. This plaza is where they had the awards ceremonies for the Olympics in 2010. The stories of Whistler include visionaries and fun seekers, all making the town what it is today, a world-class resort that has made its Olympic dreams a reality. The community now is at a really interesting point because after all these decades, we finally succeeded in hosting the Olympics, and now we're kind of left wondering what's next, where do we go from here? And so it's, a, it's an interesting and exciting time for Whistler. All right, so that, that's it for the tour today, guys. Thanks a lot for coming out. Only history will tell the next chapter of Whistler's story. From Whistler Village, I'm Jessica Turner for Shaw TV. It's probably a perfect time to head into the museum now and check out some of the exhibits.